So today I'm talking about a P0102 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0102 code? Well, it's a mass or volume airflow, a map circuit low. And what does this mean? Well, basically some engines have what's called a MAF sensor or mass airflow sensor. And all it does is report back to the computer how much air is going into the engine. And it's gonna be located between the air filter box and the throttle body, usually on the air intake hose. And like I said, all it does is just monitor all the air going into the engine and report this back to the computer. But when you get a P0102 code, something's gone wrong with this. The computer's seeing some kind of issue with the MAF sensor. And so it's gonna to have to be troubleshooting to know why. And one thing to note about these mass airflow sensors is that sometimes they could be by themselves. Sometimes other sensors are built into it. So it'll look like one sensor, but it's two. And so for this reason, if you are going to work on your vehicle, it's a good idea to get a diagram where all the sensors are located and what's doing what and locate that mass airflow sensor, because sometimes there's other sensors involved and they could be combined with it. So it's always a good idea to get a diagram of what sensors are doing what and where that MAF sensor is located. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0102 code? Well, the first thing that could cause is that that MAF sensor just got dirty and just needs to be cleaned up or it's gone bad and it needs to be replaced. It is very common for these just to get dirty and just need to be cleaned up. You can get some mass airflow sensor cleaner. You can buy this online or at auto parts stores or different things like this. And basically you just take that MAF sensor out, you clean it up real good, you put it back in, clear the code and see if it comes back. If you can't get a hold of mass airflow sensor cleaner, a lot of people use isopropyl alcohol to clean them up, but it is very common for these to get dirty. So the first thing that could cause this is that it just got dirty and just needs to be cleaned. Of course, it's also possible that it's gone bad and needs to be replaced. If you do think it's gone bad and needs to be replaced, there's some different ways to go about troubleshooting it. If you have an OBD2 scan tool, even a low cost one, quite often inside of live data, they'll have the MAF sensor grams per second. And you can go to that option and basically with the engine off, check to see what this grams per second says, because with the engine off, it should be close to zero. If it's a real windy day, you might see it go up a little bit, but it should be close to zero. And if it's not, if you see it higher than that, like at a one or two or like this, like a four, then that's a problem. There's some kind of issue going on there. So another test that you could do is you could check to see what the grams per second are when the engine's idling. And then you can double up the RPMs and the grams per second should also double roughly. So for example, if your engine's idling and it's saying like this, roughly four grams per second, you double the RPMs from 1,000 to 2,000, then this number should also double to roughly eight grams per second. That's just a general test to see if that MAF sensor is doing what it's supposed to be doing. I made some videos on this. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the next thing that could cause this is that that MAF sensor has just gone bad and it needs to be replaced. The next thing that could cause this is the MAF sensor wiring. And basically if there's any problem inside the wiring, if there's an open, there's a short, there's a bad connection, something like that, then that's gonna cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor and that's gonna cause problems. If you do think it's inside of the wiring, you will need to get a wiring diagram for your specific vehicle since there will be differences. The mass sensor can be by itself, but it's quite common for it to be combined with another sensor. Like for example, right here, it's combined with the intake air temperature sensor. And so if you do go to check out the wiring and you can't see anything obvious, you will need to get a multimeter and a schematic to check and see and be sure that there's no opens or shorts and that you're getting good ground and different things like this because the next thing it could cause this is some kind of issue inside of the wiring. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with a P0102 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.